Regardless, if it's in a bottle or a can, I'm going to be reviewing a beer today, guys. Oh, PC Beer Reviews, PC Beer Reviews, PC Beer Reviews. Well, it's another episode of PC Beer Reviews with your boy BC. What's up, guys? It's your boy BC. Well, I got construction going on here in the neighborhood, so I hope you guys can hear me over the construction. So, let's see what happens. Uh, today, I've got uh, Lagunitas Maximus Colossal IPA. <laughs> yep, that's right. That's what I'm doing today. And can art looks pretty good. But, you know me, I like to air this boy out and give you the rundown on what's what. Well, Colossal, this is from uh, Lagunitas, okay, and it's a West Coast double IPA, or an Imperial double IPA, okay, and it's a 9.0 ABV and a 60 IBU. Now, I know on tap it shows 61, but... According to the Lagunitas website, it's a 60 IBU. So, uh, some of the stuff that they've got in here, as far as the mass bill goes, or you know what they put in here, they got Simcoe Cascade hops, malted barley, malted wheat, uh, biscuity Munich malt, and English Crystal. Now, English Crystal, from what I hear. There's a certain sweetness to it, and this here seems to be, from what I hear, happens to be pretty heavy on the hops. So I guess there's supposed to be some sort of balance there, but we'll I'll put that to the test today. So, uh, as far as the head goes, initially I had a little more than four heads, four fingers worth of head on here. I mean, it's slightly hazy. Got somewhere between low to medium carbonation rate. I mean, I can see the bubbles float up. It's looking good. It's a uh, golden, almost bronze-like color here. So, I mean, you got a couple of shades before you get to the bronze color, but just kind of like a dark gold color here on here. So, uh, off well, off white head, spongy looking. Uh, smelling that grassy. Uh, there's some fruitiness there. I can smell some fruitiness. Well, fruitiness as far as sweet goes. Yeah, it's real nice. The aroma is really nice on this. I'm really enjoying the aroma on this bad boy. So, yeah, I like it as far as the aroma goes. Looks good. Uh, head's nice. So, enough of the jibber jabble. Let's see how this bad boy tastes. Cheers. Wow. It's smooth. It is definitely smooth. Got a hint of bitterness. I mean, it's not as bitter as I thought it was going to be. It's definitely sweet. Definitely dry. But it's balanced out. I actually like it. So... Yeah, you know, I wanted to compare this to the two hundred deal, but I can't. It's got like its own unique taste to it. I think it has something to do with the uh, English crystals to it, and you know, it, it's just the way they brewed it. This is how they intended the beer to be. So I mean, hey, I'm actually digging this one. So it's a good one. Would I drink it again? Yeah. Now, it's a good mouthfeel, but it seems to be lingering, like a, like if you drink a pop or something, you get that, that slight lingering effect on the tongue. Yeah. Mm. 
is. You know, this is way better just there too, yeah. But it all works out. It's a fantastic beer. I actually enjoy it. So, it lays things on it. It's decent. So, I've got no complaints about that. Yes. Well, I mean, it's a nice IPA to enjoy on a, enjoy on a hot day. So, hey, what can I say? This is one of them boys. But you're going to have to take it seriously. Uh, uh, take it easy on this because it's a 9.0 ABV. So take it easy, okay? I'll drink it or drive it. Uh, if I had to give my grade to it, I would have to give it a 9.75. 9.75. So, like I've always said, hey, drink responsibly. Don't do anything stupid. Peace out, brother man. Peace out, sister girl. And I'll check you out next time here on the next PC Spirit Reviews.